Nitrogen is an essential element for life. In fact, 78% of the air we breathe is nitrogen. However, there's a problem. Most living organisms cannot use it directly. So, how do we obtain it and transform nitrogen into usable forms? The first step is nitrogen fixation, which can occur in three ways, biological fixation, abiotic fixation, and artificial fixation through an industrial process. Biological fixation happens thanks to specialized bacteria known as nitrogen-fixing bacteria. These bacteria manage to convert nitrogen into ammonium forms that plants can easily absorb. The second method is abiotic fixation. This occurs through natural phenomena like lightning. The energy released during a storm breaks the bonds of molecular nitrogen, allowing it to combine with oxygen and form nitrogen oxides, which, when dissolved in rainwater, produce nitrates that plants can use. Lastly, artificial fixation takes place through the Haber-Bosch process, developed to produce fertilizers on a large scale. In this process, nitrogen is converted into ammonia under high pressure and temperature conditions. Once nitrogen is transformed into usable forms like ammonia or nitrate, plants absorb it from the soil through their roots. Nitrogen is an essential nutrient for plants because it forms part of the amino acids that make up proteins necessary for the growth of cells, leaves, and roots. It also plays a role in the formation of DNA and RNA, which regulate vital functions, and in the synthesis of chlorophyll, which is crucial for photosynthesis. The next step is consumption by animals. However, unlike plants, animals cannot absorb nitrogen directly from the soil, so they obtain it by eating plants, fruits, or other animals. The nitrogen in plant proteins becomes part of the animal's body, including its tissues, muscles, and biological systems. When plants and animals die or excrete waste, the organic matter they contain is broken down by soil microorganisms in a process called mineralization. During this process, organic nitrogen is converted into ammonia, which quickly transforms into ammonium in the soil. Once organic nitrogen has been transformed into ammonium through mineralization, a key process comes into play to complete the cycle in the soil, nitrification. This process transforms ammonium into nitrate. First, bacteria from the Nitrosomonas genus convert ammonium into nitrite. Then, bacteria from the Nitrobacter genus transform that nitrite into nitrate. The nitrogen cycle wouldn't be complete without denitrification, the process that returns nitrogen to the atmosphere in its molecular form. During denitrification, anaerobic bacteria, those that thrive in low or no oxygen conditions, convert the nitrate present in the soil into molecular nitrogen, which is then released back into the atmosphere. This cycle ensures that nitrogen is available in forms that living organisms can use, maintaining the balance of ecosystems.